What is up, guys? Do me a quick favor, subscribe and like. We are a growing community and we're still growing. Now, Wolverine issue 49, Sabretooth War part 9 by Lavelle, Percy, Shaw, and Sinclair. Now, we start the issue inside Sabretooth's thoughts as he speaks about Quentin and how Quentin turned against him by stabbing him through the chest and that led him to be imprisoned inside the giant plan. Was not expecting this as we see Creed trapped inside a metal shell. A person walks in and Creed immediately insults him calling him Mr. Zero or nobody. I'm not Doug Ramsey aka Cypher I have been programmed with his most vital qualities, says this person. Creed spits at that person, then breaks free and tries to grab him, but fell. All of the sudden, Creed finds himself in a snowy mountains environment. He believes that this is simulated by the person and that none of this is real. He reminds himself that when he was inside the pit, they had a similar simulation. Creed says that if he could get his hand on Blondie Boy, that perhaps he can end this simulation. His heart is racing. He takes off his gloves and realizes that this is not his hands, nor his own body. A person outside approaches the door, calls out, you who anybody home i know that voice says creed boom that person is none other than creed himself attacking finally he gets it he's living his memory inside his victim's body he shot creed to no affection this is gonna hurt he says now we move to croqua in present time are you hurt, bad seed, says one of the saber tooth. I hear the panic in your voice and it sickened me, says bad seed, as if they disappoint bad seed to even have some portion of fear inside of themselves. More sentinels are approaching. Saber tooth says that it looks like they are the only saber tooth left, him and bad seed. Are you sure about that? My father remains, says Bad Seed. Sabretooth says that Bad Seed's father couldn't let go of his obsession with Wolverine and that Bad Seed himself can't let go of his father. Bad Seed gets angry and blames his father for leaving him and attempted to kill him when he was young. Come to think of it, you're just another version of him from another dimension, says Bad Seed. Out of nowhere, Bad Seeds blasted the Sabretooth aircraft with his own sentinels. He realized that he also can't beat all these sentinels surrounding him. So what does he do? Blows up his own sentinel, creating a massive explosion to take out the other sentinels. Talking about a bad guy, this is the worst of them all. The balls and gut that he has. Wow, I tell you, just wow. Underneath all this chaos stands X-23, who tries to duck and run away from all the debris. She sees a plane approaching, carrying her own team, the X-Force. Alas, they are here and they're coming as backup. Now we turn back to Creed as he is laying on water, showing his scars to someone. He gets thrown out by Creed himself. That someone that he is, is Birdie, who was trying to use her power to quiet the demons inside his head. Cypher asks him, these are not happy memories. Why would you hold them? Perhaps you hold them because you feel guilty. He goes on and said that all of us have the capacity to be good. In fact, you were a hero once, says Cypher. Cypher tells 
a creed that this experiment, him living under his victim's skin, was th that he wanted him to feel what they were feeling, and that possibly that creed would change for the better. As a true bad guy, Creed smirk at him and says, "Sorry, but do you know who I am?" <laughs> Now that that's hilarious right there. I don't think there's any changing of Creed. You know, he's the ultimate bad guy. Exactly, Cipher. Do you know who he is? Now we switch back to Crocoa, where Wolverine is arriving. His friends want to join the fight with him. He tells. Indy, that this is not her fight. Get out of here. Drop me off, says Wolverine. And they do. They drop him off. Here he comes. He goes with a brand new armor and a sword made out of adamantium. Bad Seed is waiting for him. The battle between Wolverine and Bad Seed starts. And here we go. Now we go back with Creed and Cipher. He confesses to Cipher that. This experiment did nothing to him. That he didn't hold on to these memories because he felt felt guilty, but because he actually felt proud of them. It made his blood flowing even more. He says, "A true bad guy." He gets off the plant that kept him trapped, and finally he is free now in the real world. And he is no longer trapped in that dimension that Cipher had him. Time to unleash hell, he says, while Wolverine fights his own son, Bad Seed. And that is it for this issue, issue 49. Now, for the next issue, it's going to be the last one. You know, the next issue is the final uh, part. It's going to be part 10 of Saber Tooth War. And that will be it. So I can't wait for that one. On this issue, not so much uh, uh, action going on, but man, are we gonna have a triple threat match between the Creed and Wolverine? I can't wait to see who comes out of there, and especially when Wolverine doesn't even have his healing power. Well, you know, well we'll see if he survives this. But it looks like the X Factor. I was just gonna stand there and watch the show. Uh, it's a free fight, I guess. But hope you all enjoyed. If you did like this video, click like and sub. It helps uh, my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. So happy uh, Wednesday, happy uh, new comic book day, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.